Hello and welcome back dear friends, it's me Odo, uh, we are back in Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous and we are at the Molten Scar where we can enter, yay! There is some, uh, we have a quest there. I don't know which one of my quests is. Um, I really lost track of most of it. Let's look at the map. Okay. So probably if we go in this direction, there is the exit, hopefully. Well, are we trapped? We are trapped. There's no exit. Oh, come on. Really? I'll go ahead. No exit? Did we just fall down and... Uh, probably. Hmm. Loot. Okay. Sounds interesting. Okay. Here are some demons down there. Feathered beasts, I'll choke all of you. Get your talents off me. Fkanaya. Ravuk. Ravuk. Okay, I think this is some kind of um, magic. <laughs> Thomas, what have they done to you, you monstrous beasts? Huh? He now has a tail, does he? Now get the second one over here. Stop the... Okay. Let's try it. I know the way. Oops. There are some more frogs. Oops. Oh, come on. Really? Just level 9 outsiders. That's okay. We can deal with these rocks. Yep. Okay, first of all, let's do bless. Just because it will work for the whole... For all of the encounters. Putting hands. Wait, do they have a uh, fire resistance? Of course they do. Then. Saving through succeeded, saving through succeeded. Of course they did. Okay. 
don't think that we need some move backwards. Maru should uh, just kill this guy. Didn't kill it. Pig. Let's give him the rest. Ah, just four hit points left. Okay, pig. Do you have anything right now? No. So let's do the greater magic thing first because this will work for. For the rest of all the encounters here. Sida. So let's just make us make us better in these guys. Move backwards a bit. Okay, um... No. No Molten Orb. Let's just try with no killer on the... on this one. Yeah, of course, they always have at least one. They are <coughs> resisting. Peak. Okay, is it more? Ah, what did I do? Um, hey! Aaron, um, you are doing, you don't have any attack things, do you? You have pain. I mean, I could move a bit further. Could put the shield of faith on the pig, but it's too late. That I don't get to the pig right now. Um, yeah, why not? That's... Really, you didn't overcome the spell resistance. <sighs> You're such a stupid thing.
Cover me, all right? Can't you just die already? Yeah, really. Die already? So, you're moving down, and now let's just say. Ah, uh, we can't put it there. <laughs> Too bad. Okay, let's take something they can't resist, like an ice. Or shout. Dragon's breaths. Controlled fireball. Oh. Fine. Ho 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 ho. This was nice. Nice, nice, nice. Let's try this way. Some frogs, all of them dead. Can we just, um, Let's just... Really? Three people fell in. So the pit was... Worse for me than for uh, the frogs. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I did a wonderful job there. Come on. Darren and Nanyo. Yeah, well, of course, Nanyo. Can't you dispel it? Okay. All of you move on. This is Vorimarak. Uh, no, we can't see what he is doing, but probably we should do some, some boosts like. You put this on the pig. Are you ready to move out? You put heroism on 
Wolchiff you drink potion of banish. I welcome your company. You do this yourself. A bright future awaits us. And you are doing the So now you are doing this on the pig. You are doing Again, this at least try it. Uh, you are doing a cat's grace on yourself. You are what's this? this maximize spell all variable numeric effects of a spell. Uh, whatever. Uh, is there something we still can do to bolster our strength? <coughs> Does anyone, everyone, have to? How long does it work? One minute. Okay. You're not doing anything, you are doing well. on the pig. Pig, you're not doing anything. Good. Let's move out. Dark Rock looks at you, craning her disgusting bald neck. Her piercing scream is menacing. Why are you here? Do you want to become demons too? Rocks will transform you right away. Who are you? The frog sticks her chest out and spreads her massive black wings. Worry, Marak. Why is rock magic of rock? Snatch of humans, mark demons. Other frogs said Worry, Marak was dumb, believed chicken head. And Worry, Marak became the favorite student of Vice Xanti, the plagued one, and is now making demons out of humans. Who is dumb now? Drops of saliva fly out of the animal's beak, carrying the stench. Long have philosophers wrestled with the question of what makes us superior to demons. We too are susceptible to evil, we are smaller, we are weaker, and so on and so forth. Yet, when I look upon this creature, I can categorically declare that we mortals are superior to demons because we do not look like tattered scarecrows. Thank you, Darren, for this thing. What are you doing here? I'm blinking bird eyes stare at you. Vori Merak is making an army. She sends her flock to humans. Silly crusaders at night. Once she steals, she makes good demons if will kill you ha 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 rock bursts into shameless screeching laughter as she looks at her deformed prisoners why is xantia the plague one told her to fly here and get an get an army 
harm humans. He doesn't have time to do it himself. He is busy reading and thinking. He said he would give the horrific power that the strongest demons have. Why is Xantia the Plague One? knows the secret pour more power into demons. When he rewards the frog, he will tear off the heads of everyone who banished Warim Marak. And with the others, she will hunt you from the sky. Humans. Where did you learn how to turn humans into demons? The frog shows you her wrinkled red fist. A piece of paper is clenched within it. Smeared with soot and blood. Old knowledge. The wise frog did. The savvy tiefling has serious doubts that the frog has ever read anything in her entire life. The savvy tiefling thinks that the wise frog is telling fibs. Making demons out of humans. Oh, how fascinating. I've never heard of such a transmutation before. A sheet of paper and a pencil appears in a in Enyo's hands. My dear colleague, please share your valuable experience with me. How do you do it? Even a broad outline would be most welcome. A frog, um, a frog walks around, flapping her wings, snapping her beak, chitter chattering the strange words. And all the while, the human's bones wriggle out of their skins, their eyes pop out of their sockets, their tongues flop out of their mouths, all blue. Just as it's written, that's what happens. And you frowns, looking unconvinced. Allow me to challenge your account, Madam Brock, and engage in a scholarly debate with you. It is extremely unlikely that in any reputable scientific work you would find the words chitter chatter. <laughs> frog. The frog could not read the scritch scratches, but Antti the plagued one ordered the frog to get the silver tongued elf who knows the ancient words and he translated everything. He was screaming in pain while Antti was eating. bluff or an intimidate the frog is truly wise succeeded at a bluff check the frog clucks happily and starts bragging shedding her caution worry Mirak, wisest of frogs worry Mirak is ravuk it means very smart have you seen the white gate of the worlds she opened this is too this is to have more power flow here to make bigger demons out of stupid humans. If. Okay, we can th do another bluff check. Why is Xantia the plagued one ordered me to relieve you? Give me the page and fly quickly to get your reward. Or I could intimidate her. Give me the paper or I'll scatter your bird brains all over the rocks. This is plus 27, this is plus 24. Well, we bluff our, bluff our way to this paper. The frog lets out a triumphant cry. She throws a wad of paper to the ground and soars into the air. War Mirak will be the strongest, the most dangerous, the most deadly. Fear me, servant of vice, Xantia the plagued one. When you meet the frog again, you will crawl upon your stomach before her. A spiteful tone emerges in the frog's voice. And again, frog doesn't like humans. Flock. Make him toothy and fly after me. Oh, she left behind the stuff and went away. Interesting. Let's try this one.
Yeah, this is just a level 15 frog. Pig, let's do the worst to this stupid thing. Critical hit with 75 points of damage. That's... that's strong. We've got a page of smeared... Hmm, there's more loot. More arts. The crusader in front of you looks terrible. His skin is charred and cracked, oozing blood. Horrible claws are growing from under his nails, tearing them from the fingers and barely controlled madness is flickering in her eyes. The wheezing coming from the knight's blooded throat is, is like the growl of an animal. Help in the name of all the world. Ila, who has been watching the knight with an expression of sympathy, suddenly jerks away and points to the farthest edge. Another figure is hunkered down inside it, one that seems suspiciously familiar. It looks like Janna, the new recruit of the Eagle Watch, who deserted after the demon attacked on the Hound Hearts camp. Who are you? Uh, gathering also this one, probably. Gathering all his strength tonight, gives a short clip reply, reporting as he's been trained to do crusaders abducted during an exploration mission. I'm Wallet, and this is Thomas. Knight nods at his friend. The latter cannot speak. His pointed teeth are growing without stopping, and they have pierced through his lower jaw, sealing his mouth shut. He is moaning something furiously, his bloodshot eyes rolling wildly. Do you know anything about the girl in the other cage? No. They brought her in after. She could barely stand, and she was weak from exhaustion. It looked like she hadn't eaten in days. The frog tossed her in that cell and haven't touched her since. She hasn't talked to us either. Did you get here? The flame of fury is raging in the crusader's eyes. We were exploring the gorge on Anelia's orders, and we ran into them. Frogs attacked us, beat us up, and dragged here. We thought they wanted to eat us. Gods, it would be bad. What they did to you is horrible, or you should have fought better, coward, than you wouldn't have. You wouldn't have been taken prisoner, or you shouldn't underestimate the guile of demons. Yeah, we could do the evil thing, so next time we could do the good thing. Most of the times the good thing is the good thing, so... Knight responds with an angry roar, his eyes filled... I mean, we have to kill them anyway, I'm pretty sure about that. Do not provoke, Commander. Taking a deep breath, the knight continues more distinctly. And we fought well, but there were too many of them. We were put through some horrif horrifying ritual. Maybe that's how Arilu tormented her test subjects. The pain is unbearable, Commander. Like being dis dipped in boiling water and then dragged over a grater. I saw the abyss. It lunged at me like a wild beast, pouring his wild poison into me. It entered my bones, turning them into molten metal. The frog said, that I would be their soldier. Thomas and I are far from the first ones they've done this to. I think they make a kind of tunnel through to their cruel world and the filth gushes in from there. They pump it into us and make us fight for their side. It pains me to think about it. A few times I thought that the demons I killed looked like some of my friends. People I fought had died. 
Now I know what happened to them. To have first-hand knowledge of the subtle influence of the Abyss emanations, to have endured such a fundamental transmutation and retained your sanity, I'm truly delighted for you. I even envy you a little. If only I could have the chance to participate in such a groundbreaking experiment. Help us or kill us, but don't abandon us like this. Pain is unbearable. It's taking over my mind. I'm afraid I will kill someone. Maybe the clerics can cure us. You need no words to understand that these crusaders have undergone a transformation a process that defies every natural law. Though innocent before, now they are living grotesques that demand the Aeon's intervention. Look at me, warrior. I know what you are feeling. I also sense the beast in my soul. I hear it raging howls. But I fight it every day, every moment. You are not doomed. You have been marked by the abyss. But it is not a death sentence. I am living proof of that. The crusader presses uh, his first fist to his chest. Yes, the beast inside. How do you resist it? How do you suppress this? Okay, this is the Aeon thing, so we probably take it. Reserve, reverse the demonic ritual. This ritual violates every law of this world. This is wild and unnatural magic. I will put it in. The horrific transformations inflicted on the Crusaders start to reverse. Their fangs grow smaller, their skin becomes unbroken and healthy, and the poor lad's eyes brighten up. Unable to believe it, the knights drop to their knees and thank you, tears in their eyes. Commander, it's a miracle. Commander, you've saved us. You've reversed the ritual. The other prisoners have probably also returned to their human form. Allow Thomas and me to search the vicinity. Gather them and return to your army. Yeah, of course, let's do this. Let's talk to Jenna Eldoria. Okay. The girl raises her eyes to you. She's deathly pale, either from exhaustion or terror. You don't know. Night Commander, it's you. Jenna, by the gods, come on, look, look alive. We're going to get you out. Hmm. Yeah, let's start this. Yes, that's right. You know everything. I abandoned my comrades in their moment of need and deserted my order. How did you wind up here? I got lost. I lost my way when I ran. I walked and walked with no food, and then the rocks came in. He shudders and peers around with haunted eyes. Did they perform the ritual on you? The one they did on the two captured crusaders? Not before you got here, but they said I'd be next. And I couldn't do anything, I just had to watch and wait. So what am I supposed to do with you now? She gathers her remaining scraps of strength and takes a deep breath. I know you're angry with me because I ran. I left you in the middle of a fight against the demons. I deserted my duty, but I... It was my first real battle against actual demons. Really? She's so scared, she can barely think straight. We need to get her out of here. No, we don't take the lawful thing, because we did the lawful just now. Of course, we're going to help you, Jenna. Hila moves to step forward, but the look in Jenna's eyes stops her. Jenna starts to peek in, speak in a rush of words. It seems she's reached the limit of her fear. Back home in Mivon, everyone always praised me for my fencing skills. I mainly fenced in tournaments and duels a couple of 
one that came up against actual marauders. I won every encounter. I always won, and I thought, I thought I'd come to Mendef, join the Crusaders, and cover myself in real glory. The truth is, I soon realized that I'd been a foolish, silly girl. I realized it before the attack on Canabras. But then, I met you, Sila, and that changed everything. Everything came so easily to you. You could fall into the caves below Canabras, survive terrible dangers, then turn around and order a tankard of ale in the tavern like it was nothing. You went on the attack on the Great Garrison and came back stronger than ever. Now a companion of Iomide's chosen one. And then there's your motto, no glory without risk, you were the heroine I had always imagined myself to be. That's why I insisted on going with you after those demons. I wanted to keep up with you to prove I was as was as good as you, and look where it's led me. Jenna breaks into a wreck into wrecking salt. You heard what the commander said, Jenna. You're free to go wherever, and if it counts for anything, I'm sorry. Okay, my dear friends, we now took some time, so I will stop here for today. In between episodes, I will loot the place and look at the scraps and probably go back home. Until then, bye.